Hello everybody, this is Count Cristo and welcome to the wonderful world of Mayo and Taxes. This is the uh, Spanish Empire that I have built with its sizable colonial possessions in this uh, wonderful mod. Somebody asked me about uh, the blobbing events in M&T and how you remove them. It's controversial to remove these events, to remove any events from M&T, it being a wonderful mod created by very intelligent people, probably cleverer than I and more knowledgeable about how to balance their game. But if you want to take matters into your own hands, as I did in this campaign and all other campaigns that I play in Mayor and Taxes these days, and remove certain events from the game, then of course you're well within your rights to do that. And so uh, here is a quick little guide on uh, how you pull that off. So you want to take a look at this. If you get your M&T folder up, the place in which your events are stored, so what you want to do is go to Paradox Interactive, E4, Mod, Mayo and Taxes, don't know why the one is there, I think there will be there that there for you as well, but don't worry if it's not. Events, you will get this, which is a whole long list of all of the different files describing all of the different events in Mayo and Taxes 2.0. And if you open up the random province events, you will get this, which is uh, a very large folder full of lots and lots of events. And right down here near the bottom, is this, the Dissolution Uprising Anti-Blobbing. So this is an event designed to try and stop you blobbing, uh, which is in some ways a totally admirable goal. Uh, if, however, you want to blob without this event stopping you, it's pretty simple. You do that and delete it. And you're done. Save this and you're done. That event will no longer bother you. If there are other events that are bo bothering you, such as a cultural uprising event, can be a bit tricky, then you're going to want to go and find that over here in your events file. If you just search uh, culture, for example, uh, I think it's in the culture and religion events file, but I'm not sure. If you event pops up that you want to get rid of, let's go back into the game here for a second. Let's say an event happens. Uh, what's an event? Have I, got a, have I triggered an event recently? Anyway, if you're know, on pause, we'll probably get an event after not too long. If you turn on uh, debug mode, we informed our diplomats to Prussia have stopped trying to improve relations. Not important. If you turn on debug mode, which is tdebug? No, debug underscore mode. Then when an event does fire, oh, here I can show you it this way. If we fire one of the uh, estate events. So if an event does fire and you hover over it, and you see at the top there, debug colon. It then gives you the ID of the event. So in this case, pop estates interactions. Uh, you can't see this because I have uh, forgot to transition back on the other screen. I'm sorry. There you go. So if you fire an event or an event fires that you want to get rid of, check the name. In this case, pop underscore estates underscore interactions point 402. So if we go back over to our folders here. And you put in here, what was the, uh, what was it called? It was uh, stateinteractions.404. So if we put in uh, .404, sorry, 402, I think. Yeah, 402. And then you drop that in here. And then you run the search. And if we give it a moment here, it'll show us all the folders with something called, obviously, if I had, if, you know, if I was being more thorough, it'd be pretty easy to type out the whole thing. It's probably going to be the one of the state interactions. So then if you open that up and find the event that you want, you can delete it and get rid of it. Bear in mind, you should be extremely careful when doing this, because this, as I mentioned earlier on, this mod has been made by people, or probably, better at coding the game than you or I. So when you're removing an event, be very careful. Are there events that depend on it? Are there events that require it to work properly? Is it crucial to some other system in the game? And just generally be cautious. I've had no problem removing the anti-blobbing event. I haven't done extensive testing on anything beyond that. Okay, so there you go. That's how you remove the anti-blobbing event. Just because I know some of you might want to see this, I'm going to give you a quick tour of the uh, Spanish Empire. It's all going pretty well. We are devout Catholics. Uh, we've yet to convert our new Aegean holdings to Catholic, but uh, I'm sure we'll work on it. I don't know if we have any uh, any Catholics over here. Looks like we don't. So the, uh, the Turkish Empire was a, a long-time rival. What I did to them essentially was every time they conquered the Levant, 
I came in and looted down the entire place and caused massive, massive famines. And then the Mamluks would retake the Levant. And then, you know, they, the Turks would gather strength and recover from my looting and then attack, attack again. And every time they took this area, I'd loot them down. And every time I looted them down, Syria would break off and become independent. Sorry, Damascus, rather, would break away and become independent. And then basically, the time when they managed to re-annex Damascus, that was a cue for me to go and trash the Ottomans again. And uh, Hellas here actually broke away entirely independent without my interaction. They broke off with this area, not with Constantinople, with this area and with all of this land. And they broke away. And then I, uh, I managed to offer vassalization to them for a while. Then I got tired of them owning Constantinople. And this, uh, I wanted the, wanted the trade ducats. So I went in and broke my vassalage and then nicked a bunch of this area from them. My little outpost down here. Uh, as you can see, I've consolidated exactly to the trade lines here, so we go all the way up to this line, and then once I integrate this puppet, I'll have full control over the Iberian node and the Western Mediterranean node and the Tyrrhenian Sea node. I'll own every single province in all three of those nodes, resulting in this stupid trade income that I have over here, which is good fun. Uh, in the uh, African theatre, I've just taken a whole bunch of little trading posts, which I have managed to convert them all to Catholic, which is nice. Uh, over in the New World, as you can see, my dominance is pretty unquestioned except by all these constant rebels that Brazil keeps getting. Obviously, as you can see, I've sent over my, uh, my troops to go deal with them. Uh, it doesn't generate a whole lot of money, the New World. A little bit. Like, uh, all of uh, this whole region here is generating only eight ducats in trade, which is pretty weak, mostly because the urbanization around here is very small. All of these buildings I built personally, I haven't seen a single building be built in the entire new world by any of my colonies, which is a bit upsetting. Uh, the next patch, Fermenti, is fixing the innate fertility problem that New World has, so that should help with development over here. But it's also entirely possible I just didn't invest enough in the New World, didn't help them out enough. I'm not sure, but not a great deal of money coming from that. A whole load of merchants, though, <laughs> as you can see. When they reach something like 300 population, you start getting three merchants from each of them rather than just one, which is pretty good. The uh, Spanish Training Company is making its way around here. Our first colonies are being established over here in the Indian Ocean. I believe the furthest east I've got is here. Our, uh, our Spice Islands colonization is just underway. But yeah, that's my uh, Spanish campaign, just in case you were interested. I have got some forts going up to try and stop people coming through and looting my precious, precious uh, Italian holdings. But uh, yeah, there you go. Spanish campaign. And how's your remove events that you don't like from m and Thanks for watching.